Dover, NH when six-year-old Elena Harrington accidentally broke a glass against her chest, no one suspected at the time that a shard had pierced her chest wall, putting her in mortal danger. Both of Elena's parents, Megan Silvestri and Chad Harrington, of Kensington, NH, are nurses. Their quick triage work and insistence that something was not right with their young daughter eventually led doctors to find and remove a small shard of glass from her chest that had caused one of her lungs to collapse. It was March 14, and my husband had just worked a 12-hour shift, Silvestri recalled. My daughter wanted to help get dinner ready for him. She had a glass in her hand, and her little brother Hayden wanted to help too. They tussled a bit over the glass, both wanting to get their dad a drink. Trying to keep control of the glass, Elena knocked it accidentally against a door frame, and then she caught it and pulled it to her chest. My husband yelled, no one move, fearing someone would get cut on the broken glass lying around, said Silvestri. It happened so fast and there were pieces all over the floor. My husband noticed a spot on Elena's chest, on her shirt. He asked her and she said it must be cranberry juice. We didn't have any cranberry juice. I set her on the table, trying to keep her calm because she doesn't do well with blood. Silvestri said Elena had a spot on her chest about the size of a pencil eraser. It had stopped bleeding, so I got her an ice cream cone to keep her calm, she said. She said she felt funny, funny when she breathed and we thought she was anxious because there was blood. I knew something was wrong because something felt funny in my chest when I breathed, said Elena. Asked if she was afraid, Elena said, pretty much, yeah. I think I was able to be brave because I thought they were just going to tweeze out the smallest piece of glass and I wouldn't even feel it. While the kids played the day the accident happened, Silvestri did something that might have helped to save Elena. She gathered up the pieces of the glass and reassembled them. There was a piece missing, said Silvestri. Was it on the floor? We scoured the kitchen but couldn't find it. While she wasn't in distress, I decided to take her to the emergency room anyway. I figured best case scenario, there is nothing and I am overreacting. Worst case, they have to dig out a piece of glass. On the way to the hospital, Elena was not having difficulty breathing and said she wanted to go home to see her brother, and to go to bed. At the hospital, Elena was seen by a paramedic and then by Dr. Derek Trapasso, who is Director of Mass General for Children, at Exeter Hospital. Trapasso said it was a busy night at the emergency department and when he first heard of the child in triage with a laceration to her chest wall, he thought, this will be an easy and quick one. He was so great, he must have children around her age, said Silvestri.